Okay. Hey, at least we're a little tired. Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? Why did you attack Bill? Because... And oh yeah, regards from the Scrap Baron. What are you saying? Listen, man. I'm sorry that I disturbed your little operation. But when the Scrap Baron tells me to kill a guy, then I kill the guy. I just lost a lot of shards because of you. Tell someone who cares. I just did my job, that's all. If you have a problem, go to the Scrap Baron. I'm done here. Okay then. Scrap Baron don't take fucking shit off from anyone apparently. Well, um, well, hmm, um, okay, it's Robert Trainer, it's Bob anyway. Okay, the scrap baron. Well, uh, see what he has to be able to teach me, and uh, see what the hell is going on with uh, with with Bill. What's the situation with Bill? Are you asking about the price, or did Bill survive long enough to give you my greeting card? First, we deal with business. You told me William called me Mad Bob. No way. No fucking way did he tell you to use that name. I mean, he didn't. He might be stupid enough to use it himself, but there's no way he told you to use it. That means you chose to use it. I don't care that you lied to me about the scrap delivery, but I'm prepared to call this over. People can't say I'm not fair with my friends. And you don't want us to fall out, do you? Teach me something. It will be done. Eh. I don't really care either way, honestly. Mad Bob at this point. I do have the clerics I can go stop by, too. Uh, armor. Yes. I wonder how useful the resistances are going to be. I don't want to spend the Alexa on it right now. But it should be interesting. Uh, the other thing I'm going to grab is Good Eater, though, for sure. No, right? Why even waste time thinking about it? Those creatures need dealing with. The mechs that went into Abessa pretty much killed that whole party. Uh, okay. Rat has been no. a few days. I, I honestly I don't even that. know anymore. Be patient, but really, but I've been yeah. waiting. No, I can't I've been waiting for so long. That a fact? Oh, you don't have to believe everything they say. We always thought he was not to play around anyway. Uh, sleep until morning. Okay, sleep until morning. There, two days should have passed, right? Someone needs to go out there and kill every last rap. So, yeah, I can see that. Okay. Not going. 
There have been so many patrols that got themselves in trouble recently. Yes, the plan is formed. Good. And Chloe's finally opening up. It just took a little time to get through to her, and then some drink to get her talking. What information did you get out of her? Why she can't pay the Duke. I mean, she's in charge of the entertainment district, so she should have Alexa coming out of her ears, right? Yet, she's desperate to collect debt money. She's got no shards to spend. She can't cover the Duke's tribute. I mean, there has to be a story to be told. And are you going to tell me the story? Chloe is being forced to pay protection money. She can't pay the Duke or anyone else because she's already being bled dry. Hmm, we shouldn't talk here. Walk with me a moment. Let's go talk outside. Follow me and try not to get noticed. Okay. okay. Go ahead. I mean, we're already outside. I want everybody to hear what I'm about to tell you. The situation isn't exactly safe for anyone involved. Come on, let's get somewhere we can talk. Right, where the hell are you taking me, right now? Okay, I don't think anyone will overhear us here. That's right. So, this is what I've learned. A guy called Blake is behind us. Oh, Blake? Us. He's forcing Chloe to pay protection money. You know, Blake. So, you finally got some information. How could you doubt the wrath? Before we go any further, let me make one thing clear. Under no circumstances should you speak to Blake. But, but I already have. If you approach him now, I've got no doubt he'd back off and leave Chloe alone. But that would just mean he'd just come back later when he thought things had blown over. We need to force him to forget about the protection money for good. Otherwise, what's the point? If Blake's stopping the Duke getting his tribute, we should tell the Duke. Speaking to the Duke is never a good idea. And sure, you could tell William, but that would make Chloe look weak. She's in enough trouble without having William question why she's in charge of the entertainment district. I mean, you're free to do what you want, but when that goes badly, remember the rat has a plan to sort this out. We should focus on Blake. Despite all his influence, he's been going through bodyguards. Three of them have died in the last two months, but if anybody knows why, nobody is saying. We need to go through his things really? and find out why. There has to be some dirt there and we can use it. We just need some hint. Then we can sort all this out to our benefit. Chloe gets freed from Blake and we get the shards we need. Uh, yeah, why do you think the yeah. bodyguards are do you dead? Think they're dead? Well, he seems to have some business to take care of outside the fort. Uh-huh. And sure, it can be dangerous out there. And Blake claims the bodyguards were killed by jackals while he was out hunting. But that just doesn't sound right. If you can get to Blake's place, look through his things, then maybe you can turn up some proof of what really happened. Anything that relates to bodyguards. Okay. Okay. I'll look for the proof at Blake's house. Follow the rat's plan and you'll come out ahead, my friend. Look through Blake's stuff and come back to me when you found something. Then we'll figure out the next step. I am going back to Chloe's bar. I'll see you there. All right. Well, that should be interesting enough. Who takes the teleporter? Yeah, I'll just run there. Get used to the town a bit. Well, a bit more anyway. Though, uh, that bridge does not seem stable. Okay. Hey, boxes. What do we even have up here? Oh, Doc? I oh. am the Doc. That makes you the patient, right? I can make it happen. Those dreams will come true. Well there. My dreams? You're here to trade. I'm here to make dreams come true. Everything uh -huh. you need. Drinks, cams, that special kick. The doc can make it for you. The doc can make it Boxes. come true. 
Isis? Whoa, I bet you could surf the sky if you took any of this guy's stuff. But will we make my dreams of boxes come true? Or the mug house? Why do they call you Doc? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? I mean, yeah. Yes. You see? <laughs> A little cash, and I'll get you healthy. <laughs> What do you have to offer? Nothing at the moment. Not a sizzling second of release. I've been robbed. Who robbed you? No, no, no idea. I was only gone for a little while, taking care of something. <laughs> now, the old doc has to make enough stuff again before he can start delivering again. <laughs> what was stolen? Well, everything? My entire stock? Gone? Just gone. Everything gone. But you, you could help me. If you want to buy something, we'll have to find the thief. Okay. Do you have any leads? Go to the girls in the entertainment district. The girls know everything. And Cindy? Is the best one to talk to out of all of them. She's got less attitude than the others. Uh, okay. <laughs> She'll even talk to me. <laughs> talk to her. She might know something about who's trying to deal my cans. Oh yeah, he's right. Those ladies know how to get answers. I mean, guys get relaxed over there and they let all sorts of information slip. <laughs> got myself in trouble that way before. You've sampled too many of your own chems. Oh, I don't do chems. The doc is a chemsmith, an artist, a businessman. I'm not a consumer. Oh, I mean, I, that, that's good. Why are you laughing then? But I understand your confusion. Once upon a time, the old doc was normal. Then I had a sort of accident. When the outlaws wanted me to experiment with chems, let's just say there was a mix-up of the doses. I've not messed with concentrated chems since, or taken it pure, or on my birthday. Not that I've needed to. I mean, that was a high to last a lifetime, <laughs> literally. Um. No sounds from the sounds of it. It sounds like he did some research, quote unquote, and seriously fucked over his chemistry and his brain or something. I'm like, don't mind me. Are not permitted to be here. Oh, I'm not. What part of not good? That's the right decision. Hi. Am I allowed to be here? I'm allowed to be here? Am I allowed to be here? What are you doing here? Yes, just go. You are not per good. That's the right decision. Hmm. Not per good. That's the right decision. Sleep until You're midnight. Not permitted to be here. Shut up. I'm just sleeping in the bed. Not permitted. Didn't you understand? That's good. That's the right decision. It's midnight. You can leave now. Hi Blake, bye Blake. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to talk to you, Blake. Ignore me, Blake. Back to the rat. I've heard that before. She's heard that before, apparently. 
Well, there's what people say and what people Birds, what do you do all day? Besides so just walk together and pack a three all over the place. list at Blake's. A list? All right, let's see if it's anything useful. Hmm, I'm guessing it's a list of names, but with this writing, Bodhi, Gerds, Aaron, Iron, Ma Madison, ah, Iron Madison, Ryan, 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 you know, whoever wrote this can't spell. Well, this seems to be a list of candidates for bodyguards for Blake. That idiot Cameron must have written this before he was killed. Okay, then it's clear what we have to do. We should talk to Ryan. Why should we do that? I mean, what would you talk to him about? No, Ryan isn't the problem. Hmm, but he may be part of the solution. If Blake's latest bodyguard Ryan was to die or quit, the names on this list would be candidates to replace him. So, we should change the name on the top. Then, we put the list back and give Blake a reason to hire someone new. Okay. How do we get Blake to want a new bodyguard? We kill Ryan, of course. What else? Then, I take his place. Oh, Ryan right, takes After his place? I've written my name on top of the list, I'll put it back in Blake's place. You take care of Ryan in the meantime. The idiot prides himself on being loyal, so chances are you'll have to kill him. Uh -huh. Trying to persuade him might just mean he speaks to Blake and then our chances will be blown. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, then go. You take care of Ryan and I'll become Blake's new bodyguard. Then we will find out what's going on. See you up at Blake's. We're doing great. Ah, uh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan is down there. Okay. Fuck. I have been feeling a bit. We. Oui. Ryan. Ryan. Here to speak to you, so Ryan. Fuck off, will you? Yeah. No. Say, why don't you fuck off yourself? Are you trying to start something, huh? Yes. I'll get you. Oh, God. Okay, well he's dead. That didn't take long. I expected a second try there. Halt! Not so fast. What do you want in the fort? Cutter, shut up. I want to join the outlaws. You do? Well, step right in then. Just watch your step. And don't annoy the Duke. That'll get him annoyed that I let you in. And I don't need that sort of trouble. How did, didn't you talk okay, to the guy? In you go. And remember, make profit. Okay. Put him, Cutter. I have a person to meet. Quest to do. Apparently, he's not left that fucking post. If he had, he would have seen me in town. Since I've been spending two and a half hours here in real life. Multiple days. In game, anyway. 